Okay, before I begin, let me first say that I'm not an experienced PC gamer or builder. I Most of my experience is with consoles. Um, the build that I'm currently more or less working on is my first, and if experience shows anything, it will probably be my last. At any rate, I was informed that building a PC wouldn't be much of a challenge given my ability to read instructions and figure stuff out. Maybe I should let my story serve as an example of what sorts of problems can arise from blind optimism, or maybe having the wrong expectations for something, or even having expectations to begin with. Now, I didn't go in completely blind. I used a build from PCBuildsOnABudget.com as a template, which, by the way, that's an awesome site. I totally recommend them as the builds they provide and information attached are super helpful. And the owner of the site is really good about answering fan questions and providing feedback. So if you're curious yourself, I recommend you check it out. Link, in this, link to the site in the description. Now I did modify the build slightly based on parts that my friends happen to have lying around, a graphics card and a power supply to be specific. I did a little research and found that they should be compatible with what I was working on. I had it all planned out. I'd get the parts and assemble it during my free time after work once they all arrived. Not a bad plan, except after a couple hours of putting things together, I plugged it in and, well, the fans turned on. That's it. No activity on the screen. Nobody warned me about this. It's my fault for not looking into the possible problems that could arise from the building process. But still, confused, I decided to take everything apart and try putting it back together, carefully reading instructions and making sure everything was plugged in properly. And... nothing. Well, I tried a couple more times before I realized how late it was, and eventually I gave up, resigning myself to the fact that I might need to ask for some help. So the next day, I decided to take it to a local computer store and see what they could do to figure out the problem. Long story short, they did, or at least we think they did. It turns out either the processor or the motherboard I had purchased was likely damaged and would need to be replaced. But there's no real way to determine which was damaged, so I replaced them both. As an added protection, I left them both boxed and took them straight to the computer store once they arrived to see if they would be able to install everything properly. Well, it turns out the problem was a little bit more complicated than any of us realized. The technician even saying this feels like an uncommon problem. Great. <laughs> They determined the likely culprit was the power supply since they had everything else they, or they had tried everything else they could think of. They offered to again replace the motherboard, accepting the expenses their own should it not work out. And how, do you, how did it turn out? I don't know. I'm still waiting. While the build would likely have been done by now, it turns out the motherboard the store ordered was damaged in transit by the shipping company. As a side note, I've been keeping score personally and, and including the laptop I'm using, writing this on. This makes four for five damaged motherboards with less than a year's use on computers I purchased. But given the amount of time that was spent troubling, uh, trying to troubleshoot this, I suppose I learned my lesson. <clears throat> One, be careful, uh, even when faced with overwhelming optimism, because you never know when something might go south. And two, making an economical decision doesn't always necessarily involve making the decision that costs the least amount of money. Whether you realize it or not, your time, patience, and sanity all have values attached to them, either consciously or unconsciously. And while you might be paying a lower money amount for something, the costs incurred to your time or patience might not be worth the cash discount. I'm not really going to uh, tell you what to do either way, since I can't really speak for your patience or enjoyment that comes out of taking things apart. But as for me, I think it's safe to say I'll just take the extra hit to my wallet and leave it to the professionals when the extra cost isn't too extravagant. But that's just how my story turned out. Um, maybe things will turn out differently for you guys um, if you ever try building things. Uh, I don't know. Leave leave your responses in the comments, like what, what your experience was like. I'm kind of curious to see if anyone else had any, any uh, <laughs> fun experiences while... Um, while trying to build a PC. And in the meantime, um, go ahead and, if you wanted to, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thanks for tuning into the video, and have a good evening.